Before discussing airway management and modes of mechanical ventilation, it is important to review the indications for intubation and mechanical ventilatory support. The indications for intubation and mechanical ventilation can be divided into four broad categories, hypoxic respiratory failure, hypercarbic respiratory failure, airway protection, and a non-sustainable work of breathing. Hypoxemia is defined as a partial pressure of arterial oxygen less than 60 millimeters of mercury or an SpO2 or oxygen saturation less than 94% by pulse oximetry. Although an SpO2 less than 94% defines hypoxemia, oxygen therapies and mechanical ventilation may not be indicated until more severe hypoxemia occurs or respiratory failure becomes evident. Causes of hypoxemia include decreased inhaled oxygen, alveolar hypoventilation, and VQ mismatch. VQ mismatch includes both dead space and shunt. Hypoxemia is common in several pathologic clinical states, including pneumonia, ARDS, and pulmonary emboli. Hypercarbia is defined as a partial pressure of arterial carbon dioxide greater than 45 millimeters of mercury as measured on arterial blood gas analysis. Hypercarbia is common in COPD, emphysema, and hypoventilation. Common causes of hypoventilation include medications, altered mental status, head injury, and severe metabolic derangements such as hypoglycemia or myxedema coma. Patients often need to be intubated and mechanically ventilated for airway protection. Patients with altered mental status may have associated hypoventilation and inability to clear secretions. Further, Obtunded patients in the supine position have muscle relaxation of the tongue and soft tissues of the posterior oropharynx, which fall backwards, obstructing airflow. Examples where airway protection may be needed include stroke, head injury, sedation, overmedication, and anesthesia. Patients with a non-sustainable work of breathing may need to be intubated and mechanically ventilated. Patients struggling to oxygenate, ventilate, balance a metabolic acidosis, or overcome airway obstruction should be considered for mechanical ventilation. Struggling patients demonstrate any or all of the following characteristics. A high minute ventilation with an increased number of breaths per minute an inability to speak in full sentences, and obvious accessory muscle use. Pathologic examples include status asthmaticus and severe metabolic acidosis.